Adam Britton is about to put the Salty's thermal control system to the test at a commercial crocodile farm in Darwin. Okay. This temperature measuring device, called a data logger, is sewn inside a piece of yeah, meat. It it's specially designed to withstand the toughest environments, even the acid in a salty stomach. The plan is to measure the salty's internal temperature versus the outside temperature. Okay, how's that? If the croc's thermoregulation system is really working, it'll maintain a constant body temperature regardless of the outside air temperature. Okay, Ruben. The meat has to be small enough to be swallowed in so one gulp. Want... If the salty bites into the data logger and crushes it, this experiment will be over before it starts. But first, they'll have to get it to take the bait. And the salty's gone under. It looks like a clean bite. If the data logger's still intact, it's on its way to the salty stomach, where it will take temperature readings for the next 10 right days. Excellent, Ruben. This second data logger will measure the outside air temperature. Comparing the two data loggers will prove whether the salty really can keep its body temperature constant and even. Ten days later. If the data loggers survive, there's only one way to get it out, the same way it went in. They noose the salty, and it's not happy. Adam injects a powerful muscle relaxant. Once the drugs take an effect, the jaws are tied back. Adam covers his arm with oil to help it slide down the salty's throat. This should slip down very easily. The main thing is if, if my arm is long enough to reach her stomach, which I'm hoping it is. His team tries to manipulate the salty stomach into a better position. Find it yet? There's just a few things in here I'm gonna pull out. There's a problem. The data logger's wedged at the back of the stomach. If Adam can't reach it, there's no other way of getting it out. Finally, an hour later, Adam grasps the data logger. It's undamaged by over a week and a half in one of the most toxic digestive systems on Earth. So what we need to do now is go and download the data from this logger and from the one that was in the air, and we should be able to compare them. Once downloaded, the data confirms the crocodile's incredible ability to thermoregulate. For 10 days, despite dramatic changes in the outside air temperature, the salty's internal temperature remains constant to within a single degree. So it means it gets the advantages of being cold-blooded, which means that it doesn't waste energy. It, it's, a, it's an energy conserver. <laughs> 